Welcome back everyone. So we've been able to get everything working. Our register function is working properly. Our account generation is working too. Uh, we've also been able to do login and then we've been able to initialize our platform and so on and so forth. So the next thing we need to do is to work on our bank operation function, uh, which would be this function right here. So our message is going to be welcome. Uh, so let's pass some parameter into the bank operation so that we have some information about the user while they are performing the operations. So I'm going to send user details to bank operation. Remember user details is a list. And then here I'm going to have user in here. So let's just uh, see what happens when I do that. So I'm going to say welcome. Um, that should be a string. And then say user Remember, I think the name should be okay. So the first name should be zero. Actually, uh, this should be this, and then user one that should be their last name, and then I'm going to do another S right there. So this is simple. We've been doing this um, since. So you just welcoming them to the platform, and then now we have different bank operations. There is withdrawal. There is deposit. There is complain and there is exit. So what I'm going to do is to set up a different function for each of these things. So I'm going to say with with draw operation, which is going to ask for. I think it's okay. Let's leave it this way and just say print with draw. Uh, let's create. I'm going to do just to deposit. Uh, deposit operation print deposit operations yeah plural that's fine uh, so let's create a little space we have two more functions all right there's something wrong here we have two more functions to fill out which i mean it's just basic things uh they're not going to be doing anything complex now let's ask give them the options that are available so um select um option option to be equal to input what would you like to do and then one for deposit uh, two for withdrawal and uh, three for actually let's do exit yeah let's do exit because i want to show you how to do that too so exit is going to uh, actually let's call it logout at this point because basically we are leaving the system so i'm going to call it logout at this point so basic things if option uh, this should be selected option because it's what the user select so if selected option is one uh, do what is one deposit okay deposit operation elif option is two do uh, withdraw operation and then finally else actually let's let's check that too um option is three that means they want to exit this is actually one of the easiest things to do. just exit that's logout that means they get sent back to um the beginning of the okay so this is going to exit out of the application all right i'm going to add one more option so option three is going to be logout option four is going to be exit so so this is actually for option four option three is going to send them back to the login page like trying to mimic logout uh, and then if selected option is four now they want to leave the entire system this is an inbuilt function by the way you don't have to worry about it and then finally uh, we say print invalid option selected now we need to do that same thing again we need to send them back to the top and say please select the right option uh, so again we can have a check 
uh, what is wrong with this okay no nothing is wrong so here we can say well true all right i'm going to do what we've been doing before so we don't uh, so let's have is selected option valid so that's going to always be false and then i'm going to bring that here and say if this is false always do this actually is that what i want um okay so then i will need to this is actually quite annoying but i'll do it anyway uh, just so we are so I don't complicate matters for anyone. Um, okay, you need to optimize this, please. Once you start working on it, you need to optimize this. But I'm going to just do this now. Right, so, yeah, this is fine. We, we might need to add it here, too. I'm not even entirely sure this makes any sense anymore because we are repeating ourselves a lot. Um, okay, this is bad. This is really bad. Let's not do this. Um, don't don't ever do this. But anyway, we'll try this now. So clear. Create an account. I don't have one. Uh, it's just yes, it's, it's fine. Uh, I, because I'm not doing any validation or whatever. So no point in trying to be correct. Um, so this is my account number. I'm just going to copy that enter my password and i get welcome to you on what would you like to do today one is for deposit blah 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 oh i forgot to send to the next line um so let's just add that here next line so when we run the next time it will be there so i'm going to add that here what do i want to do that will give me okay i'm going to select the wrong option select seven invalid option selected and then it asks me again what would you like to do so if i select two Oh, it's still invalid option selected, which is, I mean, uh, which is probably why I shouldn't have done this. Hold on. Okay. Ah, uh, this is okay. So this is not necessary. I'm going to delete all of this again I don't know why I did it but um, maybe it's getting a little late <laughs> okay so I'm deleting that and then I'm going to come here and just say call yourself bro so call yourself unfortunately I think I still have user here yeah I should still have user uh, what seems to be the problem for oh, indentation so move all this back okay uh so let's go over it before we run it i'm welcoming them i'm asking them to select an option and then i'm performing operations based on the options they select why do i have login here though is that supposed to be login right that should be logout so yeah it's sending them back to login that's fine and then i'm exiting if they select for if no if the options selected are not correct it should be after so I'm going to print out uh, invalid option selected, then go back to the top of this function and start all over again. All right, let's try this. Uh, okay, I'm going to wipe it and try to run the code again. Um, I don't have an account. Create one. My first name, my last name, my password. And this is my account number and this is my password so it said what do I want to do I'm going to select the wrong option uh, invalid option selected welcome she that's the only disadvantage we have right here because after it has to welcome me every time what would you like to do and then I'm going to say I want to do one right I forgot to return inside each of these things so it's fine uh we we've been able to get it working to this point okay one is invalid 
probably because of this. Okay, I think we had this issue some time ago. So uh, let's clear this and try to run it again. Uh, first name is Shay, last name is Onifadi, password. And my account number is being created. Let's copy that. My password is password. My login was successful. Select the wrong option, and that didn't work. Select the correct option, and withdraw actually works. So yeah, this is uh, this is this this has been fun. I mean, not entirely, but <laughs> uh, it's 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 been insightful for me personally and i believe this has been useful for you too we've been able to modularize our application to an extent so each of these things are now separate functions that can be used uh, our next step will be to have a consistent database that after running the application you can still go back and see your data in your database so that'll be the next thing we'll be doing but for now just know this is uh, our functions work and uh, you can also read up on um, this concept of calling function in itself. I, I don't want to go too far into it. And actually, we could have done that here too. Rather than doing this, uh, we could have, you know, done exactly what I did for the other one. So we can clean this up a little bit more. Uh, let's clean it up a little bit more. Take all of this them back and uh, basically just do this so rather than doing what I did initially I can just go back and call in it again so that if all this fail and it eventually gets here then it initializes the application all over again uh, so let's do the same here this is not necessary and the while loop is not required and then I can Hold on, I can move all of this. I think I can move them back one step. Yep. And then uh, if if I get out of this loop, then uh, if I get out of this loop, I'm not sure I should have deleted the while loop here, but if I get out of this loop, then I need to go back to the top and do this all over again. But if I no, if I uh, this is not supposed to be here, this should be here. Now I get it now. All right, so I hope this makes sense to you right now. So what I have done is I took out the while loop. It makes it cleaner. I'm collecting the account number and uh, password here. I'm going through the database like we've done before. I'm checking the account number if it is correct. I'm checking if their user password is correct. If everything is correct, then it should just go to bank operation straight. However, if it is incorrect, it will come out of this loop, print this out, and then start all over again. That makes sense. So let's clean up. Uh, do we have anything to clean out here? Yeah, I, th I don't think so. We are not doing any validations here, so this is fine. Um, okay, uh, bank operation. Do we have anything to clean out? No, we do not. So this is, I mean, you can now perform all bank operations here. And the exit and logout thing, you can also do that there. Uh, when they want to log out, normally we should have a logout function. So that should be something like dev logout. Okay, that then clears clear all session. But we don't have any session, we don't have anything to clear. So uh, we'll just say our logout should just call login. I'm just going to do that and then have logout here. So now you can do the same thing. Uh, these two last options can be available in your withdrawal and your deposit functions too. So yeah, this is fine. Uh, we are we are good to go. We are done with this. In our next step, we are going to be turning this into a real database and saving things that are uh, persistent and can be used over and over again.